Issue 2 program. Uh, I'm going to introduce the host uh, who needs no introduction, but bear with me, please. Uh, Sensei Jim Bregman has uh, organized this and selected presentations in judo. And here we are for this presentation. Uh, Jim Bregman is uh, a 10th degree black belt, is America's first Olympic medalist. He won a bronze medal in 1964 in Tokyo, a uh, bronze medal the following year at the World Championships, and has a slew of other medals in flight, is a founder of the United States Judo Association, and continues to provide guidance and excellent wisdom through the years uh, until here we are today with another form of uh, contribution by Sensei Bregman. And without that, without any further uh, hesitation, let me introduce uh, Sensei Bregman. Well, thank you. Um, we are very privileged today to have many speakers from the greatest camp on earth who will provide detailed information, I'm sure, on their program and judo in general. With us today will be Becky Hunter. She's the Children Assistant Director. Becky is a behind the scenes instructor with many talents. Her caring, giving, and passion for children stands out at the camp. She provides encouragement and hope to children by her kind words, gentle spirit, and blessings of many talents. Talents. Becky recently earned the rank of NEDON through the ATJA. She is very active runner and ran many marathons. She will be heading up the one mile fun run at the camp. Don't miss it. Debbie Rucker is the camp CEO and organizer. Debbie is the heart and soul of the camp. With Debbie, there would be no, without Debbie, there would be no camp. She blesses every person on and off the mat. Her dedication and her enthusiasm are contagious. That's an understatement. <laughs> with, with her desire and passion to make this camp the greatest has been proven. The greatest camp on earth. Every year we look forward to seeing what Debbie has planned for the camp. She makes this not only a camp, but a family reunion. Camp is growing every year, and it's attributable to Debbie's dedication and perseverance over many years. Thank you, Debbie. You're way too kind. Lynn Rothke is an Olympic champion and a headliner. Lynn is someone that really doesn't need any introduction. Everybody knows all about her great judo achievements on and off the mat. She is an Olympian, and we honor her. Lynn is a great addition to the camp. Lynn has become part of the camp the last several years. Now she's a permanent instructor at the camp. She brings a lot of insight in instruction and knowledge, especially the spirit of judo and skill of judo to all ages. Her enthusiasm and teaching methods with her great smile, make the camp great. She is known <laughs> as Queen uh, Lynn at the camp. She's also the first female medalist from the United States, I might add. Professor Tom Ryan handles the other martial arts as the director of that program. Professor Ryan started in martial arts journey back in 1960s. He brings a lot of talent to the camp from Taekwondo, Danzan, Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, boxing. I can't pronounce some of these. <laughs> Aikido, Tu Tao, Sli. Pardon my lack of uh, proper pronunciation. Filipino knife and judo. Healing arts of Danzan Ru has been a big influence on his life. Professor Ryan is a certified Okazaki restorative massage therapist. I might need an appointment, doctor. 
and will be offering his services at the camp this session. You can take a whole class of children and within minutes and Professor Ryan can have them all sitting still, quiet and focusing. Uh, it is awesome to experience to see his methods. Anyone can do that with a bunch of children is quite talented, I must say. Darian Stokes, AKA the Batman, is an awesome superhero. Darian brings his talent in judo and jujitsu to the camp with him and shares it with just everyone. He has a special way of bringing the best out of children at camp and his superhero stories. Darian has been part of the camp for decades, Darian is like the energizer bunny, always upbeat and ready to involve and never run out of energy. Darian will be teaching the children's and adults at camp. Mark Hunter is the children's director. Mark has been the children's director for the past 12 years. Kids program has become one of the best programs ever at camp. Mark started his martial arts career in 1970, and his focus is on children, kids in particular. He believed the kids are the grassroots of judo. He stays on the children's mats for the entire time at camp and focuses on giving children a lifelong learning experience and many memories. The key to any successful children's program is to make it interesting and fun. He always brings a bag of fun with him. He introduced the wall game to the camp and it has been a big hit every year. Mark holds the high rank in jujitsu, karate, and judo. He has served as president of the Ohio judo for the past 16 years. He is married to an to an awesome wife named Becky, coincidentally. Aha, okay. Well, I want to thank you all very much. And at this point, I will turn it over to Debbie. Well, I'm extra happy to be introduced today. Um, but I'm, I'm really thankful for all the kind words that you've said. We're very excited to be on the show with you. This is first time for us. And it's it's exciting. My first thing, I guess, is to share my screen so we can see the slide presentation. Mm -hmm. And and I need to share the sound, right? Yep, we're on it. Okay. So I'm excited to show you um, about our camp. It has been named after the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. There's Dr. Ronald Charles, who gave it its name, the greatest camp on earth, because there's so much going on all the time at the greatest camp. Um, and it's not wanting to go for me. There we go. Heroes training heroes. Sensei Jim Bregman was our very first Olympian to come as a superstar at the greatest camp. And that was when we learned that people large, small, new, and old all wanted to train with an Olympian. It was a revelation for us. We want to take a break. There's a message from the Kata Kings about what to pack. Hey, Sensei, how are you doing? Good, good. I'm all packed up, ready to go to the greatest camp. I got a couple free bags for the plane, ready to go to the greatest camp on Earth. But uh, where's Sensei Jeff? I thought he was going with you. I told you I packed everything. I got a free bag. Hey, hey. You forgot to pack me a sandwich. <laughs> they are full of uh, tricks. 
judo training is vital or training is vital to judo no matter what level you are beginner to expert everybody knows that we have judo in the morning judo at noon we have judo in the evening olympians in the morning olympians at noon and whoops it went backwards and we have training all day long there are energy vampires out there in this world your work your school, house, yard, meetings, reports, injuries, fatigue, children, parents. There are just people draining your energy constantly. And so at camp, we have determined that we need to inspire you. We need to replenish what the vampires took. Just like if y'all are old enough to remember Amway and Tupperware, they have conventions every year and churches have revivals. We want to have camp to inspire you, motivate you, encourage you, re-energize, revitalize you and restore what the energy vampires have taken. This year we have a very large venue, 11,000 square feet of space. It will be heated and air conditioned. I don't think we're going to need the heat in June, but um, it's going to be very comfortable, very nice space. <clears throat> Some people say that the meals are the best part of camp. You'll have breakfast at your host hotel. You're going to have lunch catered by professional caterers Kate Clives. Your evening meal, you'll be going to the Golden Corral and you'll have their complete buffet to choose from. You can eat healthy or you can eat fun, whatever you prefer. In the evening, after you've eaten and your energy is replenished, we have the think tank. Instructors will have an opportunity to expound or continue what they taught during the day. Or you can ask questions. You can get pointers from coaches. There's a lot that goes on during this think tank hour. Then we also have during the same time, we have our referee practical application and randori that go hand in hand. You can practice the techniques that you learned. You can perfect them. You can work hard on them. You can get coaches to give you pointers. You can get all the critiquing that you would like in the evening. A little bit of individual attention. Throughout our past camps of 20 years or more, and before we started Greatest Camp, we helped Bradford Camp and the Catawba Camp. So we had a lot of experience before we started up with the Greatest Camp. We've had people from Russia, UK, Brazil, Canada, and I'm probably the Bahamas. I don't remember them all. But each year we have more than 27 states represented at camp. So you get to see a lot of variety of people. Our favorite star is Sensei Lynn Rocky, who Sensei Brightman introduced. She was a silver gold medalist in Seoul. Lynn, I would like you to have a chance to, to take the show. Can you unmute? You're Can muted. I? There you go. How's that? Perfect. Well, I, Deb, I was trying to remember how many years have I been there now? Is it, do you know, is it around 10? I think it's around 10, but I could go back and count. That, um, yeah. But uh, just a few minutes ago, since a Bregman told everybody your nickname was Queen Lenny. Oh, wow. If, if the shoe fits, I mean, if the crown fits. There you go. <laughs> um, I will say that. What I enjoyed most about camp, you know, when I was training, of course, all the camps I went to were so intense and your fingers would bleed at the end of the day because of all the gripping drills in your knees because you were doing so much uh, randori. But, you know, it was necessary when you were training at that level. But, but what I've found is at the greatest camp is everyone is there for the same reason. And it's wanting to learn, wanting to share even for me, you know, being in judo, I think this is now my 55th year in judo. I learn something new every single time I go. And um, it's just such a pleasure. It's a, such a positive experience. And every, like I said, every single person there cares about everybody else. And you can just feel it in the air. 
it, there's so much energy, so much excitement, and just good times getting together with people that that from all diverse groups of people, if you think of what they do in their regular life, and they can be very different from each other, but this one thing unites everybody and you feel it every second that you're there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lynn. We have another favorite, Ryan Reeser. He's not with us today, but he's also an Olympian and he has a lot of energy to bring to camp. He has a lot of techniques and you will enjoy training with him. We have our star for this year, Sensei Colton Brown, who was in the 2021 Olympics. We're excited he got the ninth place. He didn't get a medal, but he did very well. And um, he's stopped being training himself and he's working on coaching now. So he brings a whole new thing to camp this year. The, the aspect of coaching and teaching. You'll have a great time with him on the mat. The Kata Kings are amazing. Um, I've heard them called the world's sexiest Kata team ever, but um, I can't list all the gold medals. They've gotten um, world gold medals, so I'm not even going to try, but they have another message for you. Hi, I'm Heiko Rommelman, Kata instructor at the greatest camp on earth this June, and uh, I've been asked what my favorite part of camp is, what I'm the most excited about, and it's uh, Jeff's going to be uke. Hey, you know I can hear you, right? Oh, all right, I'm okay. See you at camp. Hi, I'm Michael Rommelman. Kata, hi. Wit, they are funny, and they are fun. They're fun in person, and they're fun on the screen. But um, now it's time for me to turn the show over to Mark Hunter. He's the best one to tell you about the children's program as a children's director with 50 years of judo and more than 200 judo students. Um, I'm going to let him take the show. All right. The Greatest Camp on Earth, Kids Program 2023. We do our best to give the young adults experience they will never forget. It's fun and great training together. We believe it is more than just a camp. What we do at Camp for Kids, uh, kids have classes at camp, bag of fan, uh, fun, the wall game, structure choices, basic judo, run dory, coaching, refereeing, BJJ, uh, self-defense, kata, nagi no waza. They do everything the adults do. After the going corral, we do extra things. Um, on Thursday night, we have a pool party and a movie night. On Friday night, we have a superhero parade. We dress up super, superheroes. Walk around the gym, show off our superheroes talent. After that, we have a ninja challenge, a little course that we do. And on Thursday, uh, then on Thursday night, we have a pool party with the movie night. And sometimes, uh, last year, we watched the Year of the Gentle Tiger with George Harris in it. And then on Friday morning, Becky's going to do a one mile fun run with all the kids and the adults and the sensei's. We hope they'll all be there. Next. What a day look like for a camp. Um, this is a Friday. We get up at 8 o'clock in the morning, do the mile fun run. Uh, we do the bow in. This year, um, last year we had 95 kids. This year I'm, I'm hoping to get like 125. So I know I have to divide the class up. So we're going to take two mat areas. We're going to have age four to six and then seven up. Uh, we'll be teaching kata, BJJ, tewaza, katami waza, combos, drills, and games. And all that, and we divide up all that. We have some great instructors on the next screen. Special events for Young Jokas. They're smiling. They've got their awards. they got their medal for doing the mile run. They're out there playing their snow and they're in, in a pool. They have snack time. Something new this year, we're going to do the, the Kamadono Kata, which is a great running tool for for kids, I've been learning that kata, and it's awesome. Um, great instructors. We have a lineup of all instructors. The ones in the list are there. The red is their basic, what they're going to be teaching, but they'll be teaching more things than that, too. So, next. 
Here's some couple of photos of what we do. We play the wall game. We do self-defense. We've got Spider-Man that shows up. We've got Robin that shows up. Batman that shows up. We just have a lot of fun with the kids. Kids learn to be heroes. Not, not only learning how to do geo, but learning how to, to be better in life, respect, discipline, how to take care of people. So it's more than just judo. We have sisters at camp. We have brothers at camp. Fathers and sons at camp. Daddies and daughters at camp. Mom, dads, and coaches at camp. Why do I attend camp? I have some couple words from Becky. Becky is coming in, and she's going to talk to you about her camp. Her. Hi, thank you for having me. I have been helping Mark with the children's program at the past 12 camps, and I myself have grown, but what I enjoy the most um, is learning as well, and then seeing the children that come in new, and then watching the children that have been there grow and go to the adult mat and even come back to say hello and take a few classes with us as they continue their judo journey. So it be, has become, as Lynn said, a place that you can learn and excel in your own right, as well as give to the children and the young adults and adults alike and continue your journey and help them with their journey. It's a great environment, lots of fun, and it has become a family event. And I'm very honored to be a part of it. And thank you. Thank you, Becky. Okay, a uh, word from Darren. I don't know if Darren's in here yet or not. Is Darren here? We don't see him. Okay, we'll go ahead and skip Darren. Here's the, so at the camp, we have fun, fun, and more fun. It's the, we have kids doing swords, the foam swords, learning how to use swords. Does a great job. Um, teenage gals training females. One neat, unique thing about this camp, we have four generations that go to this camp. Not just one family, it's four people. Superhero party, surprise guests, there's Batman, uh, bring bring helping each other, cannot help themselves. They love making their costumes. There's Batman and Robin again. All sizes of people, small, big, um, ages. Old to young, four-year-olds, all up to 80. Now, I'm going to turn this back over to Debbie. She has a little story, a little letter she received in the mail. Thank you, Sensei Mark. Um, what keeps me going is every year the messages people send after camp is over. It's very inspirational when I get tired and when life seems to be beating me down. It seems like somebody calls or sends a message. But this is an old one that meant a lot that I saved um, from Justin Sparinger out of West Virginia, I think. Um, he says, I want to thank you for the amazing camp this year. It was off the charts how awesome it was. As expected, Sensei Nick was amazing. Sensake Sensei was out of this world. Sensei Ken was spectacular. And Professor Ryan was mind-blowing. All the teachers were amazing, and I can't praise them enough or thank them enough. I'm already counting down the days till next camp. Um, Dr. Riley is the chairman of the Coaching Education Committee for USJA, and I thought maybe he would want to speak just a moment about the coaching program that we have scheduled for this year. Uh, yes. Well, th thus far, Marshall Kaufman will, will be uh, leading the, the coach education uh, component along with a few other uh, approved clinicians who will be on hand. But we will be uh, going into the newly revised level one and level two and taking comments about the national coaching level, which we are, are trying to, uh, in the process of revising. We, we will definitely be doing level one and two and hope to have level three available. We hope to employ uh, several of the other folks to give examples of, of coaching and teaching and the process of learning and how you can how you can teach, how learning 
happens in children, how you can facilitate that while they're in progress. And hopefully changing a few ideas about teaching methods and the process of learning and just having a really good time. Uh, touching lightly on the disabled area, uh, we have a certification for that, but lost the three people who really led the program throughout the USJA. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We look forward to everything that you've done. On to Mike Dakota. He will be presenting refereeing. He is an IJF, International A-Level Referee. And you will learn the current rules. Um, you'll understand the application of all the current rules. We have prepared notebooks with all the rules and the updates which go along with the rules. And you will receive a new two-way radio to use in your refereeing career. We'll also have the opportunity to practice your new skills on Thursday and Friday evenings with your new radios. We're excited on our ranked testing. I've been asked a lot of questions about the ranked testing over the last few months, and I cannot answer them all because every organization has their own criteria. And um, I do know that Sensei Donator, the head judo instructor and coach, chairwoman of the USJ Promotion Board, Six Don, will be there to conduct the USJA testing. We will have other organizations as they provide on um, people qualified to test for their organization. Um, we will have extra tutoring available before you test. If you have questions about your techniques or need to brush up on your techniques or need to just have a pretest, we can arrange all of that. We'll also have a master examiner to assist you in preparing the, excuse me, the paperwork that you need and i've heard a lot of people say it's very complicated and they're fearful of doing that but we have someone to walk you through it so it won't be so difficult and we have a master examiner training available if requested we have traditional japanese jiu-jitsu and we have professor ryan with us to tell us about this he is mind blowing. Well, I, I I don't know with that one, but um, I certainly enjoy this camp. And um, I, when I'm at this camp, it's unusual because it, there's multiple levels of training. The training of the juniors, where they get exposed to high level technique. You have training of the Q ranks that are learning from all of those people above them. Then you have training of the black belters that are there and participating. And then you have the cadre. And what I love is that every level is in a learning mindset and sharing. It isn't like, look at me. It's like, we can do this. It's always building forward. Um, it's a excellent camp. I, I love the fact that everybody gets along. Nobody wears their rank on their Everyone will take time to talk with you and ask those questions. Be as a junior ranked person, they don't really feel comfortable in coming forward. Um, but everybody's approachable. I've made so many friendships there. It's just an amazing, amazing, amazing event. Um, the other martial arts, we have weapons training, we have sword, we've had kudo, um, kendo, stick fighting, knife fighting, weapon retention, takeaways, uh, the healing arts, which is a big favorite of mine. Um, a lot of on um, joint locking, and not just joint locking to show that all oh, that's what, but to 
make it have a relationship with judo and jujitsu, big brother and sister, or mother's daughter, or however you want to view it, uh, who's out of the jujitsu ranks. And there's great cross-talking that can happen where everybody wins. And I really like that attitude of everybody always winning and help. We'll have police arts there. Um, hopefully, we're going to have some demonstration so that you can see some possibilities of maybe thinking about doing things a little late. And the same on the people that are demonstrating. They can go, oh, I need to think about what individuals are doing. Uh, I think Debbie has done an amazing job of bringing in people that have a very like mindset where it's all, always about education. It's about education. It's about being morally forthright and doing the right thing, even when it's the hard thing to do. So I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody there. We'll have massage tables set up and come get work done. There's nothing bad. So um, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. So. You've done all these years because you've done an excellent job. Excellent. I appreciate it very much. We also have BJJ at camp. It's a, very, it's a very popular sport in the United States. And we've had a lot of different people throughout the years that are highly ranked teaching BJJ. But we have a slate this year of people who are volunteering to teach their BJJ. And they're amazing at instructors they're just amazing whether you've never had bjj and you want to give it a try or you just want to see if they have techniques you know that that you'd like to learn they're great try out eric swam from tennessee um scott algebra is from illinois and new this year is judo steve matthias he's coming in from oklahoma and he's very excited about teaching. He's been he's asked to teach the last four years, but he is now the USJ Military and Public Service Committee Chairman. So you might want to learn from him, grasp something, or just meet him. We also have another thing that's new for this year. Judo for the um, Dr. Riley brushed on it. New for 2023, Sensei Mark Hunter has been coordinating with an Italian professor whose name I can't say, but they're working on judo for the older, the frail, or disabled individuals. He's been working directly with this professor who's working on the project for the International Judo Federation and the European Union. Mark's also been studying ways to empower judo, experiencing physical limitations, to have the opportunity to learn judo through Kodomo Nakata. So there's a lot new, and I think a lot of instructors will want to look into this class and see if they can offer this at their dojos. Because we have a lot of people out there, we could grow judo more if there was something, you know, that, that older people, you know, that are maybe retired and always wanted to learn judo or just, really curious about judo but people who really want to and don't have the same stamina as your 20 something year olds another hidden gem is sensei joe torres who um was came from new york city police department detective there he presented a lady safety class that got all kind of recognition um, in New York City, he's bringing that to us. Um, it's designed for moms, daughters, girlfriends, um, sisters, you know, ladies that want to learn some tips on how to be safer than the average lady on the street. We've had sponsors and I want to draw attention to them. Um, last year, someone helped me to pay for Professor Jiong Kiyong, who came from Korea. His flights alone were over $4,000. And I had a sponsor that helped us do that. That's the only way we can do something this big. 
But we have a sponsor this year that's helping us with this fancy venue that you saw the picture of. So if you're interested in helping to get headliners over from overseas, we've got a lot of them on our list that we'd like to have from Brazil and France and different places. But it will cost money to get them across the ocean and airfare keeps going up. Another interesting thing that's very not very um, unknown is Gene Fodor, an old time judo man who passed away some years ago. His widow has arranged for a scholarship for children. Um, he was a founding member of ATJA. And he's famous for a lot of things. We've got a brochure if you're interested. He did some amazing things in the world. But um, the kids love to hear about the time that he wrestled a bear, a real bear. Yeah. If you have kids that are interesting, interested in applying for a scholarship to get to camp, please talk to me. These are some of the people who've come in the past. I thought I'd just razzle and dazzle you with some of our favorites. Jimmy Pedro, Roddy Ferguson, Neil Adams, Mark Husinga, and Brian Olson, Nicholas Gill, Shinjiro Shin Shin Sasaki, Chiago Camille, Gion Kiyang, Israel Hernandez, and Amarilla Savan. Yeah. Igor Yakima. We've enjoyed this. We have a little presentation here. to say this is a great opportunity for training on all levels. Young old doesn't matter. Um, don't, don't think that you're not going to get something. You're going to get a lot. The more you're around people that you aspire to be like, the better the chance you might get there. It, I'll tell you a little story about me. Um, I ran the Spirit Legal Camp for a long time with Jamie Livergood. Um, we had a fallout, a personal fallout. Uh, I think Jamie does some things that, sh that shouldn't be personal. So I left that camp. Um, Gary Monto says, hey, there's another camp in North Carolina, Mark. You need to go to, and we want to be there. I said, ah, nah, I think I'll skip it. Hey, he kept saying, Mark, you need to go to that camp. Took me three years. And then one day I went to the camp and I will never miss camp again. It was the best awesome camp that we could have. So it was amazing that um, I thank Gary Monto for giving me that chance and inviting me to that camp. And I became the camp director and I love it. I take a week vacation every year. I only get two weeks a year. One week is for camp. And I say, hey, if I can't go to camp. I'm going to go look for another job because I got to have this week off. So I love it. And Debbie does a great job. Uh, Dan, Dana's awesome. It's a great family. I, I enjoy it very much. Donna, do you want to say anything? You're here with us. Hi, everyone. Uh, it was great uh, hearing about the camp. This will be my first year to join the group. Um, love seeing all these faces and look forward to uh, seeing old friends as well as meeting new friends and helping uh, the team out there any way that I can. Thank you. I become certified in many things. Eventually, I was able to teach and contribute much to camps. 
And over the past 20 years, except for the past couple when I had some health issues, I'd attended every one and they were wonderful experiences in so many ways. This is one of the greatest things that we have in this country, judo camps. And the greatest camp definitely is the greatest. Thank you so much for sharing all this information. And once we get the link to this video, I'm going to share it with everybody I can to encourage them to attend. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Dr. Charles, for supporting me throughout the years. We have a hand. But I have a question in regards to participating in some of the events. Are you restricted or can you stay in one event the whole three days? That's a great question. You can move your feet from one area anytime you want. Any minute, Bob. probably it will be the best to wait till one class is over before you change. You don't want to hurt the instructor's feelings, but um, you can go from one area to another continually. So there is no time frame in, uh, let's say, Kata. I would have to be there for two hours or I could be there all three days. Whatever you like. Okay, thank you. I, I think in, in judo in the USA, as we see things now, I, I think there are so many islands of excellence everywhere in the USA. And I, I think that providing a ferry service is probably the greatest service we, we could see. I think the camp transcends all the other things that are going on and provides a terrific ferry service for judo for anyone and everyone, regardless of what your association or organization is. I, I think this has been a, a terrific experience. And, and I know from the from not wanting to speak for Sensei Bregman or the other members of the production staff, we, we found it interesting that we move forward with that mantra to, to provide uh, a ferry service. And it's, it's been interesting that we just propose this to a few people and just get the hell out of their way. And they do great things, as you've seen today. And in the other Jim Bregman invites you to programs, uh, we, we just provide a forum for people and uh, great things happen. Thank you, Debbie, for and the, everyone who is involved in producing this uh, for such a terrific presentation. Thank you. You're so welcome. We're hoping you come. I know I've had people come who've had broken legs or broken arms, and they've just gone from mat to mat and watched. They've gone to coaching. They've gone to refereeing. They've gone, you know, to study and learn in the different arenas. And they've said they learned more with a broken limb than they learned when they were on the mat. So it's just okay to come and watch and come and learn. Well, Debbie, I want to thank you very much for a wonderful presentation. And I want to thank all of the presenters. The enthusiasm that's been demonstrated is contagious. I'd like to know, Debbie, what are the dates of your camp? Um, June... Dana, June the 22nd through the 24th, I think. Okay. So, and how do you apply? How do you register for the camp? Greatest camp on earth. Greatest camp on earth. www.greatestcamponearth. And it register camp. right there. Thank you very much. Greatest camp. Yeah. Are there any other observations or any other pieces of information that anyone would like? to provide. Well, if not, I want to thank you again for a marvelous presentation. Congratulations on the greatest camp on earth. And I would like to encourage as many people who watch this video to go to that website, register and enjoy the greatest camp on earth. Thank you.